I go to YouTube, I'm Max, and today I want to open one of my favorite products ever, and that's Legendary Collection for Joey's World. This is an Italian box, and the more frequent viewers of my channel might know that I have opened quite a lot of these. So many that I almost have the whole set finished. As you can see, I just need Tiger Axe, Anthrosaurus, Sword Hunter, and Dungeon Worm, and then I'd have the whole set. So I hope to see at least one of these cards today. Even better if we see more than one. As always, there's five booster packs in here, which are called the Legendary Collection for Mega Packs, and one promo pack, which has the scapegoat tokens in it. But I'm going to keep that sealed because I have so many of them that, uh, yeah, if I need tokens, I can use the ones that are already unpacked, and if I ever happen to stumble uh, into someone who wants a sealed pack of these, then I can say, yes, I have some. Summer Skull, Amazon is Tiger, Poli, okay, plus, oh, Snow, that's nice. And there's Vampire Lady, that was one of the other cards that was missing for quite a while, but... In one of my uh, more recent openings of the set, I seem to have pulled one because there's one in my binder. I have Dominating Eyes. Oh, Necro Valley. That's cool. <laughs> Classic Little D. Lava Golem. That was money for quite a while. We have Beige. Baby Dragon. Hey, another snow. Why not? It's one of the cards that still has some value. Many other cards like Secret Rare Book of Moon or MST, uh, which were reprinted recently, uh, kind of dropped in value. Solemn Judgment as well. That's kind of sad. Harpy's Feather does the two. But the Dark World stuff is still nice, so I don't mind pulling multiples. Ryoku. Uh, Shadow of Eyes, Drago Teschio Nero, Muro di Ferro Imperiale, Paladina Amazonas, and oh, Brau, Cacciatore del Mondo Oscuro. So, even more stuff for Dark Worlds. But no Dungeon Worm, no Tiger Eggs. No Sword Hunter or Anthrosaurus yet. Two more chances in this box to pull that. Let's see. At this point, I wouldn't mind pulling more Dark World stuff just because the box would then be kind of dark themed. Uh, Zombie World, interesting. Elegant Egotist and. Ah, Libro de la Luna. One of the cards mentioned earlier, which lost maybe most of its value, not all, but kind of a lot. I still like it. It looks cool in Secret Rare and with the yeah, more classic layout. And now for the last pack we have Cacciatore di Teschi, Tomosaurus, uh, De Maombra, ne, Do Maombra, another beige, Destino Silente and Buco Nero, nice. Lupo della Peste and Drago delle Caverne, <laughs> Caverne, <laughs> not Carne, <laughs> and Kazajin. So overall, I didn't get any of the cards that I need for collecting the whole set, but I think the secret rares were kind of nice. Um, Dark Hole and Book of Moon. Um, good for playability and the Dark Worlds for value, so I don't mind pulling two snows and a brow. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one as well. Uh, let me know. And of course, thank you for watching and see you next time on Random Old School Yu-Gi-Oh! Bye bye!